Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios, what's going on? This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back to bring you guys another general reading. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Thursday. It's almost Friday, so hope you guys are ready for the weekend. I hope that your work week has went pretty well. So, guys, I don't know for sure what is going to come out in the reading, so, of course, only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you are a cross watcher watching for Scorpios, the roles can be reversed, so place yourself as you see fit, okay? If any of you guys would like a reading with me, um, actually what I'm going to do on the community board, I'm going to post my schedule for this weekend, so that's where you guys will know um, what times I'm available this weekend, okay? And tomorrow, and also for next week, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's get into this energy. So let's see, where do I want to start with you guys? All right, so we're going to start here. All right, actually, you know what? I think I want to do something different this time for you guys. Let's see. Let me use, let me use these, my psychic tarot. All right, Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Please clear my energy. Let no weapon form against me or my fellow Scorpio shall prosper. I speak of peace, love, and light into their energy in Jesus' name. Any negative energy, any witchcraft, any dark entities that's coming towards my screen or my video or myself, I bind the energy back a thousandfold to its rightful owner in Jesus' name. And it is so. Amen and amen. Please protect my energy, Holy Spirit, as I channel the messages for Scorpio. All right, Scorpios, let's get started. What is the message for Scorpios? Oops, hold on, guys. Let me get my chair. My chair is all over the place here. All right. Oh, so we have temptation in the reverse. Number 15. Some of you guys can be, could have been born on the 6th or the 15th. The temptation card, this is giving me the devil energy. So I feel like you guys, you are detaching from a person, place, or a situation. Okay? You're deciding you don't want to deal with someone who's toxic, low vibrational, controlling, manipulative. Possibly this can even represent you guys. Maybe you're coming out of some type of addiction. It can be food, um, an addiction to porn, sex, anything that you overindulge in, okay? So I feel like you guys could also, that's for some of you, you could be coming out of your toxic energy. For some of you guys, you're avoiding someone that you feel that is toxic. You're detaching yourself, okay? Tell me more spirit for Scorpio. All right, so we have shadow in the reverse, number 18. Some of you guys could have been born on the 18th. Of course, 18 breaks down to a 9, so you could have been born on the 9th of November. We have the number 5, so you could have been born on the 5th, which is the throat chakra here. So, hmm. Mm. I have two messages here now of course take what resonates and leave what doesn't i feel like for some of you guys and it's only going to resonate for some of you you're deciding to at detach away from someone that's possibly a capricorn or someone with capricorn within their chart you're deciding to detach away from someone and you're speaking up about it you're speaking your truth you're speaking how you feel standing up for yourself speaking up for yourself you're detaching away from someone that you feel is not putting in the work. They're not working on their shadow self. They're refusing to go through the dark night of the soul. Okay? That's for some of you. For others of you, I'm getting here that you are pulling back from this low vibrational energy. I feel like you guys are, little by little, you're detaching away from toxic things, toxic people. But I feel like with this shadow energy, for some of you, you're finding it hard to face your shadow self. It's like, I don't know for sure if you're not ready to put in the work, even though it's like you're taking step by step. You're not fully invested into connecting to your higher self. It's like you're taking one day at a time in so many ways, and you're learning how to speak your truth. So it's that it's kind of like you're going step by step here is what I'm getting. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. All right. So let's get some clarity on this, guys. So let's see which cards I want to use for you guys here. I guess I'll use these. All right, Spirit, tell us about temptation. Oops. Tell us about temptation. Why is that here? In the reverse for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is temptation here? 
temptation in the reverse what's going on with Scorpio? what's going on in and around their energy and of course guys um like i always say take what resonates and leave what doesn't tell us about temptation in the reverse spirit oh wow look at there we have the higher front towards energy so automatically what i notice is, is of course the higher front represent god the universe the ancestors forgiveness religion tradition but i see the devil here so i feel like you guys yeah okay so someone here is going through a spiritual awakening they are yeah and then we have the three of wands so oh wow okay what's on the back the empress the hermit two sword yeah i kind of figured it someone here is questioning things if this is you guys going through this transformational spirit i feel like you guys it's like you feel isolated you you may have withdrawn your energy from family and friends you may have been codependent on others you may have wore a mask for so long until you don't know who you are so i feel like now you're starting to go through the process where you're detaching yourself from people places and things that no longer serve you you're trying to get back on these low vibrational energies and i feel like you're depending on the divine to get you through this process yeah right now you may have withdraw your feelings your emotions your being your presence from everyone with the uh, hermit card excuse me virgo energy you may have been cold okay so this is making sense you may have been so codependent on others for your emotional your mental sexual needs trying to fill a void is what i'm getting someone here was definitely pretending to be something that they're not and this left you at a crossroads. You didn't know what to do. You were very unstable within your energy. Being blindsided to the truth here. Hmm. You're struggling right now. Page of Pentacles. You're struggling to have a new start in your life. But I feel like the universe and ancestors is stepping in. I'm feeling like some of you guys need to go back to your roots. Go back to your tradition, your religion here. Take it back to the beginning. Now, if this is a relationship... For some of you guys, what I'm sensing is here that you're detached away from someone you felt like is toxic, right? But there's someone that's wanting forgiveness, okay? I also feel like you're turning to the higher power. You're educating yourself. You're getting the inner wisdom that you need to turn your back against this person, okay? This person could have been very codependent. For my fellas, this could have been a baby mother who just wasn't of the empress energy. Someone who was very low vibrational. This is a person who ain't shit. I'm going to just be honest with you. Someone here could have faked the pregnancy. Mm. And with the hermit card, I feel like you had to isolate yourself away from this person because they were dragging you down. Whether this is a male or female in this empress energy, someone was just tugging on your energy, keeping a mask on, pretending to be something that they're not, and you had to pull yourself away from them. This person, whoever this was, they left you in a stalemate energy. You didn't know what to do, how to handle this person. Yeah, you feel that you see that they are very immature, so that's why you turn your back against them. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, guys, with that, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But that was the two energies that I got from these uh, these cards, okay? All right, guys, so let's talk about the shadow. Tell me about shadow. Why is the shadow in the reverse? Why is shadow in the reverse? Tell me about shadow in the reverse. Why is that here? So yeah, someone here is refusing to work on themselves. And this could be that empress that's in the reverse. It could be a baby mother, baby father, some type of feminine energy that's in your life that may have given you some type of bad advice. They're very low vibrational, wearing a mask, pretending to be something that they're not. Because like I said earlier, I feel like you're detached away from someone who's not willing to work on themselves. Tell me about shadow. Oops shadow in the reverse tell us about shadow in the reverse thank you wow five of swords aquarius libra gemini yeah this person is very low vibrational this may have been an abusive relationship this person could have been disrespectful to you they could have been uh abusive to you mentally emotionally physically trying to one-up you play mind games be manipulative always want to have the last say so trying to win at all costs this person's needed to work on themselves 
Yeah. Also, I'm getting an energy that you may have felt defeated dealing with this person because they have such a dark entity over them. They're not willing to work on themselves. And this is why you had to detach. Tell me more. Shadow in the reverse. Oops. Shadow in the reverse. Oh, too many cards, spirits. Too many cards. Tell me about shadow in the reverse. Shadow in the reverse. Okay, so this one wanted to fall out. Wow. The magician. Oh, yeah. This person played a lot of mind games. They sold you a dream, tell you what you want to hear. Very manipulative, have the gift of gab. They're using their tools and resources in the wrong way that God has given them. It's like whoever this is, they rather play games. They rather play mind games. This was someone who was very destructive, very low vibrational. Yeah, you don't feel the same way about them. You don't have this chemistry for them anymore. You're no longer confused that this person is coming out as a narcissist here. Okay? Low vibration, not standing in their power. Now, if this is concerning you, for others of you, like I said earlier, I feel like you guys are afraid to go through this dark dark night of the soul. Face your shadow self, face yourself in the mirror, and fix whatever's going on within your life to fix yourself. It's like, for some reason, I'm getting someone here is feeling powerless. It's like you don't feel like you have the tools and resources you need to manifest whatever it is, your desires that you want. Because right now, you're feeling defeated. You may be going off on other people. Losing your passion to your desires, any jobs, careers, anything that you're passionate about. It's like you lack the energy to move forward. You lack the energy to work on yourself. Hmm. But you're not confused. You're not confused at all. If you did have other options, other men or other women, you're dropping those people. You're not living in this fantasy world anymore. Wow. See, the emperor is now coming out in the reverse. So emperor and empress. So this is definitely low vibrational energy. Someone who's not standing up for themselves. This is narcissistic energy. This is someone, and narcissist is also within that magician card too, someone who plays on people's minds, someone who manipulates others. So I feel like you guys are down on yourself. Maybe you feel like you don't have any control over your life. Things are just all over the place. You lost the passion, the fire. Wow. Five of Wands in the reverse. You're trying to get yourself out of this rut in some type of way. Come out of this spiritual poverty, this lack mindset. Yeah, you feel defeated. You've been through so much. Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands. You want things to come in fast for you here. You want things to move a little faster for you. There's possibly going to be some communication, but you're going to feel so defeated, so worn out. You haven't given up the fight, Scorpio. You're still standing. Even though you've been wounded, you've been, you've been through so much in life, you're still standing. You're trying to get yourself out of this rut here. So with that five of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, I'm getting like you're tired of fighting. You're tired of feeling like you're in competition with others. You feel like you have no control over your life. So some of you guys can have Aries somewhere within, somewhere within your chart. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of being in competition. You're tired of arguing with people. You don't want to fight anymore, but you don't feel like you have control over your life. You're lacking in energy. You're tired. You're the wounded warrior here. You've been through so much in life, but you're still standing. You're still fighting this battle. But with the Eight of Wands, I feel like someone here is going to communicate with you. Oh, gosh. See? Now we got this Empress here as well. This empress came out. So if you were dealing with someone, both of you guys were in a low vibrational energy. I just feel like, personally, for some of you here, it's giving me like lack mindset here. Like you don't know your powers. You're not opening up and allowing God to use you. You're not stepping into your divine energy here. Yeah, the star. You're losing faith and hope because possibly it's something to deal with your finances. You're feeling like you can't get further in life. You don't feel grounded. You don't feel stable. You don't feel like you're a good mother or a good father. You just feel like you're struggling. You're in the mud here. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Tell me about throat chakra. Wow, this is deep here, guys. So this could be a relationship or something personal, but I'm getting both energies here. But I feel like now you're trying to speak up. You're not speaking up. You're using your throat chakra to express your feelings, your emotions, your desires. Your throat chakra is now being activated to speak up. Also, with this throat chakra, I feel like now you're trying you're trying to communicate with God because you don't know what to do. You feel defeated. 
You feel like anything that you're trying to manifest is not working. So now you are trying to communicate with the most high, your universe, your answers, your spirit guides, and reaching out to God with help with your throat chakra. So your throat chakra is definitely strong. You're definitely a person that speaks up for yourself. You say what you need to say. Or like I said, if this is a relationship here, I feel like now you're voicing, voicing your concerns, what you like, what you didn't like. Hmm. Tell me more for Scorpio. And of course, guys, keep in mind, if this is resonating with you, feel free to comment down below. Like the video, share the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit that subscription button, okay? Tell me about Throat Chakra. What is this about for Scorpio? Thank you. We have the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Hmm. I don't know why I just heard. I feel like you're crying out for help. You're crying out for help for the most high. You're in your feelings. But the thing is, I'm getting you guys are very lovable people. And of course, this is you. You're in your feelings about so many things, so many storms that has happened. You want to express how you feel to others. You're trying to speak up and really express what is going on. What is this battle that you're facing? Some of you guys could have been crying recently, talking to the most high. I also get it. This is a relationship. You're now trying to speak up and express your feelings. Like I said, what you don't like and what you do like. You have so much love to give, but I feel like you're battling with inside. And like I said, for personally, you're in your feelings when it comes to speaking up for yourself. It's like I'm getting some tears, sadness here. You're hurt and you want to express your feelings. You have so much emotions built up. You want to express those emotions. Hmm. You may have spoke up and told this person how much you love them and how you kind of like don't like what's going on. The reason why you had to detach, you had to allow God to step in the situation and walk away from them. Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is you guys. So yeah, I feel like you're speaking your truth when it comes to a soulmate connection. This could be another water sign. Um, I'm also getting Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Gemini, and Taurus here, Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have strength in the eight of cups. Wow. All right. So for some of you, if this is dealing with your own personal issues, I feel like you want a partnership. You want something that's everlasting. You want to know that someone is there for you. You want to know someone has your back, your yin to your yang, whether this is a family member, a friendship, or a relationship. Now you're really speaking your heart when it comes to love and commitments and relationships here, Okay. You have a lot of love to give. You have so many emotions. You're very humble. You're intuitive. Queen of Cups is definitely an intuitive person. You have this motherly-like energy. And I feel like you're ready to give your love to someone who deserves it. You want a union. You want a marriage. You want something that is everlasting, a spiritual union here. And I feel like now you're ready to speak up about that. But I don't know for sure if you guys have the strength, the courage, the bravery to speak up. I feel like I'm getting the energy I just heard scared. Some of you guys can be scared to speak your truth because you have so many feelings bottled up inside when it comes to this relationship. Now, again, let me go back. Now, if this is a relationship here, I feel like you're really ready to speak up and express how you really feel towards this person that you felt was your soulmate here. I also feel as though you have a cup of love that you're willing to give someone that is worth it. You want a soulmate connection. You want something that's ordained by the most high. You're speaking up for yourself. But I just don't feel like you guys have the courage to do so. You feel weak. You feel like a coward. You feel like you don't have the strength and courage to move forward. I'm getting someone here is in a lot of self-doubt. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm getting a lot of anxiety energy. Some of you guys may not be able to sleep at night. You possibly toss in a turning. It's like your energy, it's like your energy is not rested. You feel anxious. Also, for, if this is a relationship, I feel like you don't want to be in separation with this person. I feel like you had no choice. It's kind of giving me the energy that with these cups being in the reverse, I feel like you, someone here drains your energy. They drain your love. They drain everything out of you. You just don't feel like you have the courage and the strength to go back to this. Maybe this person stressed you out. Wow. Now... Personally, 
Hmm. Like I said, you're feeling restless. Now, I'm sorry I said personally. I mean, for this relationship, this person does want to come back to you, but I don't feel like they, they have the strength and courage to do so. They have a lot of self-doubt within themselves. They're tired of being in separation. They could be thinking about you a lot. They want to come back here. Hmm. But I don't feel like this person is speaking their truth, but you're speaking yours. And I feel like right now you're very guarded. You're standing up for yourself, the Queen of Swords. And again, we have the Devil card again, where which was the very first card. The Devil in the reverse. Yeah, you feel like you had to detach in order to get your shit together. You had to detach from this person and set some very strong and healthy boundaries here. You feel like it was time for you to stand up for yourself. Do what's right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you had to detach from someone who was very selfish, very low vibrational. Someone who was in their pride and ego. When they can't get their way, they throw temper tantrum. Someone who's not mature. Yeah. You guys may not be in communication with this person right now. You may have also felt like this person could have lied to you. Feel like there was no clarity in this relationship. For some of you, uh, personally, I feel like you don't... It's like your energy is not clear. I'm getting the energy like you have clouded judgment. Because the magician is here in the reverse. So that's giving me Gemini energy along with this Ace of Swords. So you're not clear on something. You don't have the truth and clarity that you're needing to face your shadow self. It's kind of like you don't have that green button to push go. You know? With the Eight of Swords, you want to come out of this stuck energy. You don't want to overthink the situation anymore. I feel like you guys, if you were in a situation where you felt trapped, stuck, felt like a victim. I feel like now you're coming out of the victim mentality and you're coming into the victor. But you don't feel like nothing is clear in this relationship. And it's like, even though this person wants to come back, they may see you as their soulmate or you may see them as your soulmate. But someone here needs to work on their shadow self and they're avoiding it. There's a lot of self-doubt here. Feeling like you're not brave enough to either go back to this person that you truly love. Because maybe they give you a lot of anxieties. They could have lied to you. And you just want to come out of their mental space. You don't want to overthink and stressed about the situation you just feel as though now i need to protect myself it's time for me to stand up for myself it's time for me to set boundaries you know it's either you bring me the truth or nothing at all you know i have to detach from you you're too low vibrational and you're bringing me down you know yeah wow 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 this was a deep reading guys so of course guys like i always tell you take what resonates and leave what doesn't all right, Scorpios, I am going to end it right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this reading. Peace, love, and light to you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to hit the subscription button if you are new. Like, comment, and share as well. See you guys later. Bye-bye.